Kyle Eastman. He has left Rugby Union for the challenge of playing Rugby League, which he played a decade ago. It, it's a, a body coming in at a very interesting time for the Rhinos because obviously they've got a lot of key men out. I think in terms of media management, they've handled it really, really well. But they've known for a while, clearly, that Jack Walker's had a reoccurrence of his foot injury and unfortunately for him, likely to mean him missing an entire season. Clearly, you know, they've known that Rob Lewis injury is going to be maybe two to three months and he's in the last year of his contract. And they've announced that on one day and the following day, uh, because they've had negotiations over, I think, a week, um, Kyle Eastman is in. And, and it's really interesting because there are so many, you know, that you, your first thought when you go, Kyle Eastman playing for Leeds, been playing rugby union. And what are the links between getting him to Leeds? Well, there are actually three. One is Richard Agar coached him when he was in the England Academy team. Um, he's from Oldham uh, and clearly uh, is, is well known to a certain director of rugby who is also from Oldham. Uh, so their paths have crossed in not only on the field, but they've seen each other, you know, grow up. Uh, and when, again, when that phone goes and it's Sir Kev and you're from Oldham, the likelihood is you're going to pick it up. Uh, and of course, the third one is is Sean Long, who who was a mentor to to Eastman in his, his early St Helens days. Uh, he's in charge of the the attack for for Leeds, so Eastman um, is going to need some time to adjust. But clearly, um, he, he's got a guy coaching him who who he's going to be in, inherently in tune with. So actually, it all makes sense. And I think you you know, I'd got the entire tongue in cheek comment about broken the bank. I actually don't think they have. I don't think they've had to. Um, because it, as Eastman has said today in his unveiling, he felt that this was the right time to come back. So I, I think he's come back for reasons other than necessarily finance. He, he could have gone to, to France to continue playing rugby union. Um, and, you know, there's all the issues around travel and quarantine and what that actually means. And, and I think he's found a home. Um, it works for, for both parties, I think. A two-year deal means that we may well be coming to the end of the, the Rob Louis time at, at Leeds because his contract was was up at the end of this season. And um, I think he's going to have to fight to get his place when he comes back from his injury anyway. And I think the other thing that's, that's interesting is that clearly the rules have changed while Eastman's been away. And the one thing he had when uh, he was at the, the, the peak of his rugby league game first time round was incredible speed off the mark now clearly he's 10 years older and maybe that speed has decreased a little bit but what he will have is more space to operate in so uh, yeah it could be it could be um you know a a blessing in disguise that um, they've had to find uh, a solution to a problem that, that wasn't originally on their radar and because of the connections of the three guys um to 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 intended uh, number 33 in in the shirts then um it could be a, a win-win for everybody. I, I think from a wider rugby league perspective, uh, the national media cottoned on to the fact that, you know, he, he is a re returning guy who's played for you know, the last England game, I think, was against the All Blacks in Auckland. So the, the story is, you know, tempted back to, to rugby league. And, uh, yeah, it's down to him to, to make that transition again and, and establish himself in a in a Super League team. But... It's, it's raised a few eyebrows, and that can only be good for the start of the season. And in terms of expectations on him, he's uh, on, if I put Luther Burrell at this end of the scale and Sonny Bill Williams at this end of the scale, he's somewhere in the middle, probably towards the, the Burrell, because Sonny Bill Williams will expect to come in and uh, score a million tries and not knock on with his first touch in Super League. But he's been, there's going to be some expectations on him, but not as much... As uh, Sonny Bill Williams say, but I, th I think he can deal with them because rugby league is his first choice game. So you know he's only going back to to what he knows. Clearly, there's an issue about how fit do you need to be when you've spent nine and a half years in rugby union because it is different. Um, I think he said that predominantly um, he played a, most of his union career in the centre, and there was the, there was less hands on the ball and more bulking up a little bit to be prepared to get caught at the bottom of a ruck with a 16 stone forward on top of you. Um, so I think he'll enjoy the fact that he, he can, to coin a phrase of somebody who, who uh, has, has lit up this show, in, in, he'll enjoy himself, he'll have vision and awareness, uh, he'll be given the opportunity to play. Um, and I think a lot of people would be interested in seeing how he does cope and how he does adapt. And um, yes, it's a, it's a story for Leeds, but I, I, I think he's, he's, 
you know, Luther Burrell came very late, never really got the opportunity. Sonny Bill is a natural athlete in two or three different sports. He could adapt to anything. I think Kyle Eastman's coming home is something a little bit different. Uh, and actually, it may well be the, you know, a little bit of stardust that, that Leeds need to close the gap on the teams that were above them last year. I mean, Leeds' first game of the season, of course, is away at Wakefield at the home of Rugby League, the Mobile Rocket Headingley Stadium. Um, I, I, I was checking because you mentioned 16 stone forwards. I was going to see how much David Fafita weighs, but I've Googled him and he comes up with the other David Fafita. And when you click on people also search for, it's a lot of NRL people I've never heard of. He's not on there, which is a bit disappointing. I'm searching with David Fafita and I can't find David Fafita. I'm sure that oh. Pen- Penrith Panthers bound David Fafita. No, he isn't. Is um, is is as turned up in svelte condition for pre-season training. Well, the other day, uh, Dave is sixteen stone twelve pounds. Well, He's also six foot one. So uh, uh, there, there, too too many David Fafitas around. Mm-hmm. 